More bad news for Chuck Todd. According to recent ratings data, Todd's daily Meet the Press show is getting absolutely destroyed in the ratings. Oh boy. So let's get into couple, to, to some of these numbers. In total viewers, Chuck Todd got about 592,000, which is higher than MSNBC Live and Chris Hayes' replay. Now, when it came to uh, the recent ratings, this Monday, actually, one of Chris Hayes' replays beat Chuck Todd. Ouch. Ouch. And when it comes to uh, total this week, Chuck Todd's program actually did worse than anything else on MSNBC. Ooh, that's not good, man. He is flamely. And that's got to hurt. It's got to hurt bad. And he's doing it especially bad in the 25 to 54 demo, the most important TV demo. He's doing terrible. Terrible. And look, I'm not going to try and try draw a comparison between me and Chuck Todd or me and cable TV, right? But what I do want to point out is the decision that MSNBC has been going and to point out how it's been failing. Their decision to go center right. And I've said this before. When it comes to progressives, they actually want to hear news, not bullshit center right talking points or shit from Washington insiders. We, we don't care about Washington insiders. They live in that Washington bubble. Most Americans don't live in that Washington bubble, and we could give a fuck less what some jackass senator from Utah talks about on the show or the experts who often get things wrong. And that's sort of the problem with cable news. It's all about getting access to these politicians and advertisers. Now that's something that's not talked about enough. Advertisers. Do you know that advertisers are actually incredibly conservative when it comes to their spending? Well, they don't want to offend people um, and they don't want to back things that are controversial. So they're very conservative in their views because they consider America conservative. And they also work for the business community, which is also very conservative. They are, after all, corporations. Corporations exist for one purpose. Make money. Make money for their shareholders. And see, that's what they try to do. And speaking of corporations, that's who owns your news. That's who owns your news. Large multinational media corporations. There are six companies now in America that you that own all of the different broadcast news on cable television their businesses and those businesses unfortunately they're no longer there to serve the public good and they're no longer there to keep the electorate informed instead what they're there is they're try to they're there to try to sell you something whether it be a product or an idea that's what they're there to do not to inform you they're no longer doing the public good so and this decision by Phil Griffin, MSNBC uh, uh, chair or uh, CEO Phil Griffin, to go further right, all of this was based on a business decision. This is business for Phil Griffin. He doesn't believe in liberal ideas. He doesn't believe in liberal ideals. He's a businessman. And that's the problem. If he could go conservative and make more money doing it, that's exactly what he would do. And he said as much. If liberal programming made more money, he'd go even further liberal. And as I said, that's the problem. And what they're trying to do right now is that they're trying to find a sweet spot, center right. They're trying to be a little bit more like CNN. The problem with that is that you can't be CNN. You can't out CNN, CNN. And the problem with going further right is you can't out Fox, Fox News. That's a problem. And when it comes to... Uh, left programming you also can't have a fox news of the left progressives are not interested especially a fox news of the left that is corporate sanitized thanks to news no longer being news but more of a business and that's a problem and that's why you see places that are online places like us uh where we've just recently passed thirteen thousand subscribers which is pretty good for me right uh tyt 2 million subscribers, Secular Talk, over 200,000 subscribers, and many other places, many other liberal outlets that aren't restrained by places like the FCC or restrained by advertisers. And that's really, really important. 
Because when you have independence, you can cut through the bullshit instead of putting it on on prime time when it comes to Chuck Todd, for example. Well, I kind of pointed the wrong way, but when it comes to Chuck Todd putting bullshit on prime time. So, but of course, unfortunately, they're never going to get this message. Todd pointed it out before. If they actually did call out the establishment on their bullshit, they would no longer have access. They, these politicians wouldn't come back. And if they don't come back, well, they, they don't have a show. It's simple as that. Now, on the other hand, interestingly enough, if Chuck Todd's ratings continue to slide as they have, as they have been, well, there won't be a, a network left to have a show on. 